Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Today again we are going to see another scenario based interview question that you might encounter during job interviews or when working with the clients. Scenario is a use case study of a data analysis in a retail industry. So, the scenario is as a data analyst, you work for a retail company that sells a variety of products both in store and online. The company wants to understand the de demographic of its customer base better to tailor marketing strategies and product offerings. One of the key insights they are interested in is the age group distribution of their customers and how different age groups engage with various products. Here your task is or your ask is as a Power BI developer or a data analyst your task is to create a report that calculates the age of each customer based on their date of birth. You have to then categorize these ages into specific age buckets to analyze spending patterns across different age groups. Means here you have to tell which age group are most valuable customer and which product is in demand in which age group so that it will help company to do targeted marketing or any other product development strategies which will ultimately improve their overall business performance. This type of use case study you will get in Amazon, Flipkart or any other retail companies. So to solve this scenario, we have to follow these steps. First step will be a data collection. So we have to obtain a data set containing a customer information including the birth of date. It is very important as we have to focus on age of each customer. So date of birth is very important criteria here. Second is data preparation. So here we have to clean the data, we have to check the uh, format of the date column to calculate the age. Third step will be the age calculation. So we are going to calculate the age in a power query editor. Fourth step will be the age bucket creation. So we have to segment the customer into different age buckets. So we have created the kids, youth, middle age and elderly. Okay, so these are the age buckets here. Then Sixth step will be the analysis. Here we have to explore the spending pattern across a different age group by visualizing the sales data, product purchases or any other relevant metrics. So here we have to do a data visualization and final will be the insight. So based on our analysis, we have to provide insight into which age groups are the most valuable customer and which products are popular among specific age groups. Now let's do practically. Before moving ahead, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon for notification. And also join my telegram channel or a whatsapp channel where I daily upload job opening for fresher. Link is given in the description box. So our first step is data collection. So here we will go in the home and just click on get data, click this drop down and we have a csv file. So I will click here on text csv and here in the customer analytics we are using this order csv file ok click this and open i will provide the link in the description box now here you can see we have a few columns order id order date customer name date of birth which is important for calculating the age state city product and cell ok so we will transfer it because we have to do in power query editor we have to calculate the age in a power query editor so we will directly go to the transform data here. Now power query editor is open. Here we can see our data. So we have to do data transformation. The second step is data transformation. Here you can see here we have some empty columns. Okay 20% empty we can see here. So we will remove that. So what we will do here. We will do control A. And we will go to remove blank rows here okay now here you can see it's no error and empty zero we will remove error if it is okay now everything is done now it is a clean data okay now we have to calculate here the age for that we need one column which is a date of birth so here uh, this is the date of birth column okay but here you can see for this date of birth the data type is not correct it should be date 
so we have to change which is a very important step so what we'll do here this is a text we will change it to a date first now this is correct now we, we are getting again error so we will select this and we'll go to the home here and we'll remove the errors okay now we have no error now next step is to calculate the age so for that we have to duplicate this column so just click this column okay and do right click and go to the duplicate column okay select this column then go to the transform here and here in the date date and time column here you just click on you will get here the age okay which is written the duration between the current local time and the value in the selected column so we'll select this age so that it will calculate the age but you can see that we are getting the age in the duration form okay and we can see here the sign is also changed data type is also changed this is a duration data type okay so what we'll do here we will turn this into a days because we want uh, we will turn this into the years because we want age in the years okay so select this column again and here in the duration go to the total years select this now here you can see you are getting the age in the form of years but within decimal numbers so we don't want this decimal number so we'll go here in the rounding and here you get the option rounding up rounding down so here you will do right round down so when you will do round down it will go to the 62 22 if you want to do round up it will go to 63 because it is 62.6 it will go to the next number here we'll do round down select this now we got a age for each customer okay so this is a, our important step so to calculate the age we have calculated the age now next step is to create a age buckets okay so first we will rename this here we will write here age okay and now we have to calculate the age buckets for that we have to create a condition column so here select the column go to the add column here and go to the conditional column now we have to put here the conditions we have already created the condition so we'll put the conditions here so if the column name which is age is less than equal to 18 then we'll call it as kids okay we'll call it as kids next will be if the age column is less than equal to 30 then we'll call it as youth next condition will be if the age less than equal to 55 then we'll call it as mid age and finally if it is greater than 56 okay if age is less than equal to we'll take it random number as 70 or we can take 100 and we'll call it as elderly okay and just click okay now here you can see we have created the age buckets okay for 62 it is elderly for youth it is 22 and for elderly it is 62 middle age 43 so we are getting the correct results okay we will rename this and we will call, call it as age buckets okay now this is done uh, now here you can see we have bucket age okay uh, i think this column we don't need here this is a we can remove this because it's unwanted column we will remove this and the rest thing is fine so we'll do close and apply data is loading now we have to do our next step which is a data visualization okay 
in data visualization we have to show which age groups are most valuable customer and which product is in demand in which group so that it will help the company to do targeted marketing or any product development okay so sir so first we will find which age group are most valuable customer so for that we'll go to this uh, visual gallery and we'll select the bar chart cluster bar chart we'll select okay uh, let me zoom it a little bit okay and we're going to make this so we are going to find here we will take the sales and age bucket okay now here you can see middle age from middle age we are getting the highest sell okay so these are the most valuable customer for this company okay now next we are going to find which product is in high demand in which group okay so for that again we'll go here and we'll select this stack column chart okay we'll take this here and here in the data we'll select product wise sales so we'll select product then we'll select sales okay we got a product wise sales but we have to find in which group okay so for that we have to add this in the legend so in the legend we will add the age buckets now here you can see from the earlier chart as we know that middle age are the most valuable customer so they are buying each and every product okay but the elderly and kids okay the blue color so these are least interested in all these products so they have to focus on these age group elderly and kids okay so they have to do product development and targeting targeted marketing for this age group elderly and kids similarly we can see for the cities as well we can uh, now let's minimize this and we'll create new chart for the cities so for cities also we'll take the this cluster bar chart okay we'll pick here and here we'll add the cities uh, and city wise sales we'll check city wise sales here we can see in mumbai we are getting the highest sell let's add the age bucket here so we'll add the age bucket in legend and here we can see we can change it to the stack bar chart here we can see that in, in delhi the middle age group are not buying much whereas in mumbai the other groups are not buying much so if we shift this uh, here and we uh, extend it now we can get for all the cities here you can filter your data with top 10 cities and do your further data analysis okay so by calculating the age and creating the age bucket we are able to do customer segmentation which might help data driven company to improve their business i hope you find this video helpful if you like the video please hit the like button see you in the next video thank you for watching